<laughs> oh my goodness, you have... I'm going to say at the beginning of this, you have to wait till the end of the video. Oh my goodness. Well, towards the end. It's not at the complete end. So don't go zooming ahead. You got to see all the bolos before this. What? It's missing rhinestones and sold for $1,325. Hey, bolo buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have a big money Bolo video for you guys. In this video, we are gonna talk about the best April Bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you're not in this Facebook group, my link tree is down below. That's where all my links are. And you guys can go and click on the Facebook group and join and come share a bolo. By the time this post, you're gonna be sharing your best May bolo. So I look forward to seeing what you sold for big money in May. Um, so I posted this, share your best April bolo, and now in the video, I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. The first item comes from Flippin' Hot Finds. This is her eBay store, and she is a Bolo Buddies YouTube member, which means she has joined Bolo Buddies memberships level two, or level three for perks. Um, no pressure to join. If you would like the perks, you can join down below. There's a link. Uh, otherwise, it's free to share a bolo and I will share your bolo in this video. If you are a Bolo Buddies YouTube member, you will get the mention and a link down in the description. If not, I will just share your bolo anonymously. All right, so she said I bought for $52 at an online auction. I was getting so many lowball offers and when I finally received an offer to make a profit, I jumped on it. It sold for $120. It is a Michael Kors Signature Grayson um, something something purse. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so 52 and 120, not the greatest margins, but still a good profit. And that is flipping hot finds. So you can find her eBay store link down below. If you go down and you click on an eBay store, there is a heart. If you click on that heart, you can follow eBay stores. I don't know if you guys know that, but when they create coupons, you're going to get that coupon alert. You're also going to see when they list new items. So it is a great uh, feature to follow eBay stores. And um, my eBay store is also linked down below. You guys are welcome to follow that as well. Went to a local church rummage sale and bought a bag of trinkets for $5. Along with this item, there were a few pocket shrines and medallions. Sold on eBay, buy it now, took three weeks, but I held out on sending offers. Ooh, antique, ooh. Oh, why is there always gotta be such hard words? It's E-U-C-H-A-R-I-S-T. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. I'm sorry. This is what it looks like. Host Sterling Silver Oil Stock. Uh, sold for $341.99 plus shipping. Wow. Trifari Vintage Brooch. You guys, if you have not seen my brooch video, it looks like this. I also have a clip-on earrings video. These are bolo category videos where I teach you what to look for. Um, and I'm teaching myself as well because um, I am learning every day. Just like all of you, that's why you're here to learn. And that's what I'm doing. I'm learning. So teaching and learning at the same time. You got to love it. But check out this brooch. Ah! Um, it's a rare 1960s Trifari Alfred Felipe Firebirds Rhinestone Brooch. It sold on auction with five bids for $1,325 plus free shipping, free shipping on that. But he didn't tell me where he got it or what he paid for it. But I remember seeing this in the group and I asked him to share. I can't remember if the original information was there or not, but, um... This piece is missing three rhinestones on the eyebrow to shoulder ridge. See close-ups. It's missing rhinestones and sold for $1,325. This is a Bolo brand. Now, not all Trifari goes for big money, okay? But a lot of it and some of it, 
can. Okay, and there's a lot of medium pieces also, but over a thousand. I wonder what it would have sold for if all the rhinestones were there. All right, this one comes from Abigail's Artful Abode. She is a Bolo Buddies member with an awesome YouTube channel, and she sells things that I don't. She likes those breakables and really cool, hard to find, neat looking things. Maybe not hard to find, but hard for me to find because I walk past them. Um, I'm like into like the small toys, the bread and butter, and she has just a really, she has a neat style. Check her out. Okay, my sister actually spotted this last year at a local antique mall we were shopping at during our trip to Boulder, or during my trip to Boulder to visit her. I recognized the designer immediately and thought it was really groovy and unusual and quickly looked up comps. Of course, this was from the 70s, so there really wasn't any comps. I decided to take a chance and bought it for 50. I listed it for 600 and got many lowball offers over the year. Recently, though, someone offered me $300, and I countered at $375 and was happy with the sale. Sold on Poshmark. To help you out, Courtney, here's how to pronounce it. Thank you. Um, let's see if we can get this. Meannual Ungaro. Did I do it right? This is, this. I'm not going to say it again. This is what it looks like. It's from the 70s, and it sold for $375 on Poshmark. That is awesome. And thank you for helping me pronounce that. I felt like I, I felt like I did a good job. All right. If you don't know, slide rulers can really be a bolo and most people don't know that. So you pick them up very inexpensively. I just sold one of these. It'll be in a future video. Honestly, that's all I know about them and really don't know how they're used. I spotted this one at a local vintage market. I was already buying a bunch of clocks from the vendor and he actually said he would throw in the ruler. I picked this one out because of the cool vintage leather case and yep, sure enough, when I went to go research it, I found that this picket slide rule is a bolo. It sold on Etsy within a month for full asking price. Pretty good for a freebie, $78 on Etsy. And I may have undersold mine because there was somebody else that recently just sold one. Um, it was uh, Cat Feelin' Thrifty. Um, she did a video on it on her YouTube channel. Check out Cat Feelin' Thrifty. She is also a Bolo Buddies member with a new YouTube channel. So go show her some love with a sub. And um, she sold a slide roller. And she sold hers for, I think, more than I did too. So maybe I undersold mine. I grabbed mine at the Goodwill Bins. Um, so you will see that in one of my Goodwill Bins videos. All right, here is another one from Abigail's Artful Abode. I told you she picks up cool stuff. This is a good one because these little lamps are fairly easy to find. Yes, you have to ship them, but if you only list the little ones, it's not that hard. I think the brass lamp was about eight inches and that's a popular size because people want them for their kitchen counters or small spaces. I paid five for it and listed it at 45 and took a best offer of 37 on eBay and was really happy with that. And this is what it looks like. Okay, I don't remember what I initially paid for it. I know it could have been more than three. It couldn't have been more than three or four dollars. I had it squirreled away and uncovered it here recently. Squirreled away. That means it was in their money pile. I researched it with sold listings on eBay and found two recently that had sold for 75. It had interest and I eventually sent watchers a revised price. I had one counter with 50 and I accepted it and chalked it up to a win. It is a Jazzwares Super Shadow the Hedgehog Super Poser 7 inch action figure 2008. And this is what it looks like. So took a best offer of $50 on that. This one comes from Stellar Seller Sam. This is her YouTube channel right here. She said, everyone walked right past this purse at the bins. I knew it was Vintage Coach. I would have known it was Vintage Coach also. Vintage Coach like sticks out like a sore thumb. Um, Rachel Strickland over on her YouTube channel, she has um, a lot of you guys in my Facebook group are asking, how do you know if a purse is real or fake? And Rachel Strickland will cut them up for you and show you how to know. Um, she doesn't cut up the real ones. She cuts up the fake ones. And she points out the different things to look for. She's done Coach, um, Louis Vuitton, I think. I'm trying to think of what the other one is. It's Dooney and Burke. Burke? Burke? I think she just did one on that. So uh, go check out Rachel Strickland if you want to learn about how to authenticity. 
Sacate, I can't say that word. Purses. She'll show you how that's done. And I'll link her down below. Okay, Stellar Seller Sam. So anyway, this is her YouTube channel and she is fantastic. So sub her up. She will be linked down below. Everyone walked right past this purse at the bins. I knew it was Vintage Coach and grabbed it. Paid around $2. It was dusty, dry, and flat. Was in my money pile for months before I got around to cleaning it and reshaping it. Went for full asking price. 100 all in. Always check out these picked over bins. It's a crossbody. And it is a turn lock. That's another good keyword. Uh, actually, Rachel Strickland also has a video how she shows you how to reshape a purse. So Stellar Seller Sam, if you're watching, maybe you have a different technique or method. You could always do a uh, demo video on that. That would be pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, because everybody does things a little bit differently. And one, may, one way may work better for you. So it's nice to see different um, ways of doing things. All right, this one comes from Vintage Spice, and this is her YouTube channel, and she is a bolo finder. Definitely sub her up. She has some incredible solds. Um, her what sold videos are really, really good. Paid about $10 in a buyout. Sold on an offer sent to watchers for $205. It's a vintage artisan doll lingerie Victorian lady miniature dollhouse. So it is a dollhouse item. Yeah, so this is artisan made. So anything that is made by um, an artist and there's not a lot of them out there or they're all going to be different. They're one of a kind. That's what I'm looking for. So, um, wow. Check it out. That one's a little risque. Have about $4 into this from a buyout. Sold for a best offer of $50. Uh, this also comes from Vintage Spice. It is a Marks American Airlines International Jet Port Beechcraft Bonanza Airplane Green. And Vintage Spice definitely specializes in Marks products. She really knows her toys. So check her out. Pick this dress shirt up at a thrift store while visiting my son in North Carolina. It was buy one, get one that day for all men's shirts. Paid zero. Sold for 90 on Poshmark. Buyer paid shipping. Total profit after fees, $72. I don't enjoy selling clothing, but I didn't find anything in the home section that day and decided to look through the men's clothes. Glad I did. I didn't know this brand, but the material felt luxe and the pattern was super unique. And as always, using List Perfectly has paid off yet again. Um, Robert Talbot, dress shirt, button down, circle print, long sleeve, casual. List Perfectly? What is List Perfectly? All right, you guys, if you've been here, wow, you know all about List Perfectly because I talk about it all the time. I've been using it since 2019. It is a cross-posting service. I start my items on eBay and then I cross-post to Poshmark and Mercari. You can also use the List Perfectly catalog, start your items there, and then cross-post. I have a uh, tutorial demo video down in the description. Oh my goodness, it gives you so much information. It shows you exactly how it works. Check out that video. If you post on multiple platforms, you're going to have more sales because there's more eyes on your items. There are different eyes on your items. People that sell on um, eBay, shop on eBay. People that sell on Poshmark, shop on Poshmark. So same with Mercari. You're going to get a different audience. Plus there's different um, age groups that prefer different platforms. So list perfectly cross post your items. Um, I do have a referral link. If you decide to watch that video and you like what you see, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. That's going to get you 30% off your first month. And again, I've been using it since 2019. I still love it and am so thankful for it. So check it out. This one comes from YouTube channel Piece of Scrap. And she sells a lot of clothes and shoes and stuff like that. So you don't get a lot of that from my YouTube channel. No, that's not what I mean. You don't get a lot of that from my what sold videos because I don't sell a lot of that. So definitely check her out for a wide variety of bolo clothing and shoes items. Paid $5 sold for full asking price of $53 on Poshmark. These are Morel shoes and this is what they look like. So five into 53. 
Um, Poshmark is great for clothing, but I also sell tons of hard goods on Poshmark. So if you want to see what I'm selling on Poshmark, you can check out my what sold on Poshmark. I also have what sold on Mercari. After you check those out, if that convinces you to sell on those platforms, I do have referral links down below um, that you can join with and get free money to shop. Poshmark, $10 to shop. Mercari, $10 to shop when you join with my referral link and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And then you can use List Perfectly, right? So it all just see how it all comes together. Um, more eyes, more sales. All right. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Crazy Critters and Vintage Collectibles. I purchased this little cutie at Savers in Albuquerque, New Mexico in a grab bag for $4.99. It contained four stife and two, ooh, uh, Chinooko? Chinooko? S-C-H-U-C-O. Don't know what that is. Miniature animals. Are you kidding me? A grab bag? for $4.99 with Stife and whatever this other thing is, miniature animals. I listed it for $199 and took a best offer of $145. It was a three and a half inch Stife jointed bear. I wasn't familiar with them at the time, but I knew they were something special just by the way they looked. So six little animals for five bucks, bears. It's a vintage miniature Stife jointed dark brown mohair bear with button. 3.5 inches. You gotta love that, right? When they just shove them in a bag and sell them for five bucks. Yes, I'll take that, please. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, The Quiet Thrifter. She does not have a YouTube channel, but she has an incredible eBay store. Again, sells things that I walk past. I bought this vintage signed limited edition. I believe it's pronounced Chakoisky. Nutcracker at a thrift store for $38 and took a best offer of $250. Buyer paid shipping. It is a Steinbach 1995 artist signed and this is what it looks like. Yeah, some of them Nutcrackers can be big money. This one also comes from The Quiet Thrifter. I bought this vintage metal toy model boat shell at a thrift store. Did I just sound like a robot? I bought this metal toy boat a boat. Uh, let's try again. I bought this vintage metal toy model boat shell at a thrift store for $15 and took a best offer of $150. Buyer paid shipping. It is a 1950s Atwood A100 Speedster 10 Litho model hydroplane boat 10 toy boat. Wow, $150. I probably would have picked that one up. I do like toys. Here's another one from The Quiet Thrifter and these are trending right now. Um, swung vase. It is an art glass swung vase, five finger amethyst, 17 inch. I bought this amethyst swung glass vase at an estate sale for $10. Knowing that swung vases are hot right now, I put it on a 10 day auction and the winning bid was 131 in the buyer paid shipping. And I got to be honest, I'm surprised it didn't go for more than that. Uh, this is what it looks like. I can't believe she got that at an estate sale for $10. Another example of sometimes you can find some gems at estate sales. All right, here we go. Yay! Oh my goodness, you have. I'm going to say at the beginning of this, you have to wait till the end of the video. Oh my goodness. Well, towards the end. It's not at the complete end. So don't go zooming ahead. You got to see all the bolos before this. Paid $30 for this brooch. It sold in one hour for an offer of $252 plus $9.95 shipping. I want to thank Bola Buddies because of you. I would have never known about this brand. Um, this is comes this comes from Picker Money Flipper on eBay and YouTube, and this is her YouTube channel. This is a women's crown trafari signed large faux pearl gold tone leaf brooch. And I have some videos on brooches and this is one of them. I also have one on clip-on earrings. You guys got to go check these out. I will link them down below. Um, yeah, 252 bucks. But she did pay up a little for it. She paid 30 for it, but definitely a bolo. So go check out their eBay store and their YouTube channel down below. All righty, this one comes from Jersey, Jersey. Jersey Shore Thrifter. This one comes from Jerry. And I haven't even read it yet, but I imagine he's, something's going to be something. Because I always have something that I have to say about Jerry's post. 
always look for Moncini. Moncini? He said I was going to have trouble with this. Plush and toys. I know I'm saying it wrong. They can be newer, but Moncini, he's going to write it like 50 times in this paragraph, can be sold at as old as the 1970s. The older Moncinis bring real big money. I found several plush in these Moncini figures curbside after a neighbor did some cleaning out. So Jerry is a curbside picker. He goes trash picking all the time and he finds like the best stuff. Um, in other words, these Moncinis were my favorite price of free. The plush sold very quickly quite some time ago. These Moncini figures took several months. I finally sold them full price in an internet to an international buyer. Lot of 10 Moncini monkey figures, 2018 cafe, kitchen, living room, furniture parts. So over $29.99 plus shipping. So um, he got them free on the curb. And in the last or one of the last videos I featured him in, I gave him a hard time about something. So he's he's getting me back and making me say this word over and over. And I probably just said it wrong, like what, 10 times? Monchichi. So anyway, thanks, Jerry. <laughs> All right. Paid $30 at the local auction and into the money pile it went for months before I decided to do the research and list it on eBay. Listed it at a buy it now for $350 and sold it in a little over a month for a best offer of 285. Not a bad sale to begin the month. Oneida Community Brahms Stainless Flatware. And this is what it looks like. This one comes from I Candy Vintage. And this is her eBay store. And I'm happy to see that she's sharing. Um, bought these Tory Burch sandals for about $7 at a thrift store. Sold for a best offer of $90 plus shipping. Yeah, if you don't know, Tory Burch is definitely a bolo brand. Um, they're usually pretty easy to identify. They have a very specific logo on the sandals. I can't tell if these have it or not, but um, if you see Tory Burch, definitely look it up. All right, we're going to do one more here. This one comes from the Kitchy Canson. Bought this Fenton tabletop lamp that glows a beautiful bright green from my local consignment auction house for $92.50. Woo, she paid up for it but she knew it was a bolo. Listed it for $375, and within a couple months, I took a best offer of $295 plus shipping. It is a Fenton hand-painted custard uranium glass electric table lamp, uh, 1979 signed. So definitely a bolo right there. Let's do one more because we have another one here from her. Um, this is the kit Kitchy Canson. Bought an under cabinet mount black and decker coffee maker at a consignment auction for around $2 and sold it for $250. And it came back to me because the basket was missing a spring. So I am now parting it out less the basket. Sold the coffee pot for full asking price of $50. I actually might make more than the $250 now. Thank you, Courtney. And this is what it looks like. So yes, can you part out coffee machines, coffee makers, um, appliances. Yes, you can part them out. You most definitely can. So um, something to think about. I know I part out play sets and toys and uh, doll houses. I like rip the doors off and rip them off and people yell at me like, you shouldn't do that. And I'm like, yes, I should. Because it's just going to the landfill if I don't. Anyway, you can check out my Goodwill bins videos where I dig through the bins. Um, those are super fun. I love those. And thank you guys for being here. Let me know down in the comments, which was your favorite bolo. If I uh, pronounced Moncini, Mon I can't even remember what it is now that whatever that was wrong. Sorry, because I said it 10 times. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And thanks for watching. And anyway, let's try that again.